I know, chasing that dough, hitting that road, getting that money, man. All I know, loading that foe, kicking down doughs, getting that money, man. We go make it money. We go take it crisp. We go make it money. We go take it crisp. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Caleb Plant seeks validation from Canelo mid-fight. But before we get into that, we are going to have to share a Ned the TBE's attempt at getting the Boxing Bros media passes to the fights. Let's take a look at the professionalism of Ned the TBE. All right, here it is on our screen. Ned has sent uh, Eddie Hearn a message. Hold on. on Instagram. Have Ned it says, hey, should... Eddie. Oh, yeah, Ned, Ned, read it. Go ahead, Ned. Hold on. I can't really see the font on that, but I'm going to read it from my phone. Hey, Give me baby. one second as I pull up this DM. Yeah, and I'm not ashamed that I slid in Eddie's DM. But <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eddie and AJ, big fans of yours. I am Ned from the Boxing Bros and was wondering if we could obtain media passes from yours. From you or your associates, the zone. We are big fans, and you if you end up reading this, I appreciate this. Much love, the boxing bros. Thank you. Thank you. Let Eddie know I reached out. Well, what <laughs> Eddie gonna do it though? So as you see, <laughs> Ned is doing his part to get uh media passes for uh mm -hmm. the boxing bros. All right, we're gonna move on to uh well and show them what they can do, my brother. Show them what they can do. Oh, I gotta pull that up. I gotta pull that up, my brother. I gotta pull that up. Yes, yes. yes. And this is all we talk to do because, you know, y'all always ask what y'all can do to support because we don't ask for money. You know, we just come out here and just show y'all love and y'all show us love and we just talk boxing. Yo, I'm going to show you this. I got to show y'all this. Hold on. I got to show y'all this in live time. Straight up. This is why this is our dude. Hold on. Let me share the screen real quick. All right. Here we go. Can y'all see the screen? Yes, sir. My boy Rico done already mm. shared it. <laughs> mm. My guy Rico. What this is before about? we even drop these videos to tell y'all to share it. I posted this and Rico done already posted this. I want to give a salute to my man Rico. Shout out to Rico. R-I underscore K-O boxing. I mean, y'all subscribe to my man Rico. Rico is the honorary boxing bro without a doubt. He done already retweeted this, so uh, let me just say we're asking you to retweet this. Um, and here it is says, uh, dear at Eddie Hearn and at Matchroom Boxing, the Boxing Bros would like to request media passes to the at Boo Boo Android fight in New Hampshire and the at Teofimo Lopez fight in Madison Square Garden. Please contact me with your response to our request. Thank you. So please retweet this mm -hmm. and send your own like uh, Rico did. Just at Eddie Hearn and at Matchroom Boxing and say, uh, please uh, provide the Boxing Bros with media passes so you can do that on your own. Now, let's get into Plant Seeks Validation from Canelo Alvarez mid-fight. I really wasn't aware of this, and I was really hoping this was fake. I was talking about this with Trill. Like Trill's like, nah, this is real. I'm like, bro, I hope this is fake. But this is real. Uh, and let's take a look. Oh, hold on. Let me turn this on. Pretty good. Yeah, good. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. So basically, you saw the conversation that uh Caleb Plant had with Canelo. Uh, mid fight, Trill Dollar Bill. What was your reaction to that when you saw it? I mean, I started laughing. I was, I, I just like this is, this is, this is hilarious. You was, he was conceding. It <laughs> 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 it felt like to me, you know. And that was around the time where you know he was like trying to pity pat the champ. And then, you know, <laughs> he was hoping that you know the champ would say something to him. The champ was like, "Yeah, whatever. I'm here. I know you respect. Yep, 
I know you respect my skills. You know what I'm saying? I like this fight. I'm about to knock you out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I mean, it just didn't. You was supposed to be in here like, I'm about to knock you out. Say my name. I'm not trying to get validation, you know, um, during that fight. Um, Asking if you was as, as good as you really are. Um, and we seen what happened in that fight. Man, I went back and go and watch that fight. It seemed like the first couple of rounds, and then he realized what he was in there with. And he was like, maybe if, you know, if I give him some compliments and I don't hit him too hard, Canelo won't hit me too hard, and maybe he'll let me go the distance. You were wrong. <laughs> you know? You were wrong. You know, like, hey, uh, my bro G uh, dubbed Canelo the body snatcher, right? Because he always taking something, you know? So, uh... <laughs> What I'm hearing, he took another eye. So while he was sitting there trying to, you know, get on Canelo's good side, Canelo went around and just took his eye and called it a night. But um, that's not the mindset that you should have when you're going in there with a, a Canelo. And that's what I was always saying the whole time. Like, these guys ain't prepared to go in there with a guy like Canelo. Pretty good for 21 and 0, huh? No! <laughs> No. Um, listen, y'all guys, as prepare yourselves. That's the only way y'all gonna give yourselves a chance against the number one pound for pound star in the sport, Saul Canelo Alvarez. All right, Conspiracy G. I'm not shocked by this. This is to me. This is the snack effect. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Haney with Lenares. It's like, bruh, like, <laughs> they need the validation. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. need the validation. Like, but at least I can give Haney this pat. At least he did it after the fight. My man, man <laughs> getting crazy. It's like, yo, come on, fam. Like, yo, and Haney won. <laughs> and Haney won. <laughs> and Haney won. <laughs> bruh, these, these snack fellas, man, I don't know, man. It's, just, it's, it's different. It's just a effect. I like that, G. <laughs> man, can I like, yeah, yeah, good fighter. And then he just attempts to like take his head clean off. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I don't know. And it's funny what Trill was saying because it was like that was one of my, um, you know, I guess like my critiques of Plant during that fight. It was just like, yo, man, just he just focused on just like just touching him up, hit him with a jab and move. Even though I was like, hey, that makes sense for Plant because he's probably afraid to exchange with Canelo. But it's just funny that why he's doing it, they like. Oh, that's pretty good, right? For my record, right? Huh? Huh? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Come on, come on, fight, fight. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. Just these dudes are different, man. I don't know, man. Plant. But nonetheless, I still say Plant did a lot better than Saunders and Smith. But Canelo apparently still left with one of your eyes, bro. So man, you'll be all right, you know. All right, all right, Ned the TBE. I love this. That's right. what he wanted to say. <laughs> I, I I disagree with G. I think Smith did the best out of all of them. Out of Canelo, out of, out of Plant, Smith didn't get knocked out. Smith didn't quit, and Smith didn't get knocked out. He lost every round, but Plant, I respect that. Seeking validation, mm. <laughs> it was cringy to me. It was like, come on, man, <laughs> your fans, you got fans, Plant, you got fans. <laughs> <That's Canelo. laughs> what, what type of warrior are you to them? Come on now, like we don't respect <laughs> that. Get together, man. Don't ever try to get uh, attain compliments from your opponent, man. You better talk trash to him till till you get knocked out, man. You try to slap him, and you better go out. On your shield, like uh, respectably, you know, that's all I gotta say. Respectably, go out on your shield plant, don't do that ever again, especially against a Canelo. You know, it's crazy to me because when we were talking about this, um, and, and Caleb had said he wasn't intimidated by Canelo, right? Uh, one of the things we discussed was we'll see in the ring, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? We'll see in the ring. Was that the actions of a man who wasn't intimidated? <laughs> Was that the actions of pretty good, huh? Huh? I respect your fight skills. He said, I know. You why didn't you say that at the press conference? <laughs> You're gonna say in the middle of the fight, like, 
what was that like the ninth round in the mm-hmm. ninth round that you respect his his fight skills that was crazy you talk about a, a concession you talk about a 180 like my man what about the roids and all that yeah you <laughs> were just like in like talking trash like you were going to beat him he, he he never seen no one like you he's never been in with anyone like you how you go from he's never been in with anyone like you so I'm pretty good, huh? <laughs> I respect your fight skills. That's a, he, Not he, bad. He, huh? took advice. he took Trill's advice. Remember, Trill was like, yeah, you better hit that brother with a fruit basket. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it was too late. <laughs> it was too late. <laughs> he, he started getting hit, and he was like, wow. Like, like bro said, <laughs> like you, I respect your fight skills. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, to me, you know, um, last night, Davis, when Davis was going to go out, and it was evident, similar to kind of like Plant, Benavidez was going to overwhelm him. Benavidez was going to get him out of there eventually. Yo, when Davis felt that, yo, Davis started fighting. He started talking, calling him the P word, calling him all types. But he was really trying to, like, motivate himself to keep fighting. But what I'm saying is that Davis was like, yo, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and he was trying to, but he wasn't like, Benavidez, pretty good for a guy who took the fight on two weeks, right? <laughs> Benavidez, I'm taking some pretty good punches, huh, Benavidez? He was like, nah, F that. Come on. I'm not done, you punk. Like, he was he was, he was, was in the fight. I just feel like, and I'm going to close with this. The point that we've been trying to hammer home to people who've been coming at us, saying ridiculous things to us trying to like come at the credibility of the channel but here's the facts here are the facts the people stepping in the ring with canelo haven't prepared themselves by fighting the level of competition or even being involved in the type of major events that canelo has been involved in since he was like 24 years old so they step into the fight not even knowing if they belong on that level. That's what you saw from Caleb Plant. In the midst in the midst of the fight against the guy he is trying to beat to become undisputed, he's seeking validation because he knows that that man is already the real deal. But he doesn't know it about himself. How can he win? He doesn't even know if he belongs. How could he win? <laughs> he doesn't even know if he belongs. But if he would have fought Charlo and beat Charlo, if he would have fought Benavidez and beat Benavidez, he wouldn't have had any question that he belongs. But when you keep playing this game, fighting the true actors of the world, when you keep playing this game, fighting the mediocre guys and beating the mediocre guys, when you're in there against a proven commodity, you don't know if you belong that's why y'all need to stop fighting each other if not for nothing to get the experience to get better you can lose and come out better i.e canelo alvarez can't you can't you can't do it you can't do it you can't there's you can't cheat your way to greatness you just can't do it you just can't cheat your way to greatness you cannot uh skip the process you know we got to jump through the fire you know and these guys don't understand that and they think that we be bugging <laughs> no nah, we, we, we just know boxing you know what i'm saying just look at all the greats poor plant poor plant please do us a favor go to uh retreat retreat retweet the tweet Allowing us to go have media passes. We really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please, please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros. Don't forget, go retweet the tweet. Get la- allowing us to have media passes. <laughs> My man, Jidris Alba. <laughs> yeah. you know the model, man. The cold day gets, the sexy I become. You feel <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, season, you know. What I'm <laughs> <laughs>